Hi everyone and welcome to Fresh from my garden. On the event of World Environment Day, I would like to share a tour of my vegetable patch and a few things that are growing in my vegetable garden in the ground and also in containers. So here you can see a row of cauliflowers that have been planted in the ground. We got saplings from the garden center recently and planted them in the ground and they have grown pretty well and we also have a lot of holy basil plants in the ground which is a natural pest repellent for other vegetables in the garden it's also used as a great home remedy for cold and cough here you can see some red amarnathus and some cucumber plants in the flowering stage so we are hoping to get a good harvest of cucumbers from these plants and many of the plants that are grown in our garden are saved from seeds in the kitchen and a few of them are purchased outside another good natural pest repellent are the marigold plants and we have randomly planted a lot of marigold saplings in our garden around our vegetable patch sometimes these plants are self seeding and sometimes we just harvest the seeds from the dried flowers and scatter them onto the ground and they grow a lot of new plants around so you can see some tomatoes and some chili peppers that are growing in the ground as well since the monsoons or the rainy season has begun in our area there are a lot of weeds also that are growing in the ground so even if we keep weeding our garden they just keep coming back so we will wait for the rainy season to be over before we weed out these plants from the garden here we have some pigeon peas and also some string beans that are growing and we have given a support system and built a little trellis for the string beans to climb up on we have some banana plants saplings of which we purchased from my hometown and we have also these yams that you probably saw in my previous video that i posted we have these elephant yams growing in the ground more string beans in another patch of the garden next to the cauliflowers along with lots and lots of holy basil plants some onions from last season that have gone to seed and these seeds are ready for harvest so i'll be harvesting in a couple of days here behind the holy basil you can see this row of cauliflower plants that are doing well in the ground since we have limited space for gardening we also grow a lot of vegetable and other plants in containers so once i share this vegetable patch with you i'll share those that are growing in containers which is on the other side of our garden so we have lots of amarnath that are self seeding in the ground and we constantly keep harvesting leaves from these beautiful plants this is a watermelon plant and it has started flowering next to the amarnath is here we have some tapioca and banana trees that are growing in the ground this is the purple brinjal or the egg plant that is almost at its flowering stage and the plant is really healthy
here we have the watermelon plant that i shared earlier and it is in its flowering stage but due to being in the monsoon time we get a lot of pests and i can see a lot of ants on the flower of the watermelon and we randomly have a lot of banana trees planted wherever there is some space next to that we have these okras and we have been harvesting some okras from these you can see that they are producing a lot of okras and we get to harvest a few every day or every other day this is the elephant ears or the colocasia plant that is planted in the ground near the tapiocas tapioca is easy to grow and is grown from stem cuttings so there is another video on this channel where i have shared a tapioca harvest from our garden please do go back to the channel and watch that video and we have a lot of sunflowers that are growing from seed we usually do a succession planting on the sunflowers and we get regular sunflowers in the garden more peppers and green chilies that we have planted in containers along with more marigold plants also growing in containers on the other side of our garden in the container with the pepper plant i've planted basil as a companion plant basil is a companion plant and goes well with peppers and tomatoes so if you are planting tomatoes and peppers you can also add basil or cilantro along with these plants and they make good companion plants we require a lot of spice in indian cooking and so we have a lot of bell peppers and chilies planted in the garden along with some turmeric that has been planted in the ground so there are few good plants of turmeric that are growing well and few plants that are just starting to germinate and our upcoming plants these are all planted in a small vegetable patch in the garden we also have a couple of plants that are growing in containers i recently also started a few batches of spinach as the weather is starting to cool down a little bit and we have this papaya tree growing in a big 50 liter container and this is a sapling that i brought from my father's garden when we visited our hometown we also have some chili peppers beets carrots and few other veggies along with lots of marigolds for companion planting that are growing in containers on the south side of our garden this is a vegetable patch and every season we get one or two volunteer plants of bitter gourd these are now starting to flower and also you can see a tiny little bitter gourd growing here ginger in containers we have these ginger that i grow every season in containers these are some carrot seedlings that i planted from seed and they are doing well once again lots of marigold in every part of our garden which helps to keep a lot of pests away and finally our banana tree that is starting to form fruit along with lot of pomegranates
that are on the south side of our garden so hope you enjoyed today's environment day special video on what's growing in our garden and hope you can also support the environment by growing lot of different plants and growing organic thanks for watching fresh from my garden